and we will see how to use the CMS WordPress. First of all, what it is a CMS. It's the acronymous of Content Management System. It's a system to create web page without to be an expert of languages HTML, PHP etc. And what is it WordPress? For me WordPress is the king of CMS. It is developed with language PHP and database MISCL. And how to install WordPress. Now it's very easy. Because when you buy a hosting or VPS, dedicated or cloud solutions, there is a software to install WP with a click. So you can see this is the interface of WordPress. The back end. WordPress is a blog. By WordPress you can write articles with the title, content, and image inside it. Now we are at the version 4.6 of WP, but the interface is similar to the first project. The concept of WordPress is the same. Write an article. The WordPress is divided in pages and posts. The page are for the static content, the post is for dynamics. For example in a blog of sports. In the page you can insert the card of the player, and in the post there is the news of the player. Every post appertain to one or more category. The category is the specific topic of the post. For example the category of the post is the name of his team. In the WordPress you can choose the theme. There is greatest theme and premium. My advice is to buy premium theme for see a reason. In the WordPress there is the plugins. There is many type of plugins. There is plugins to edit your theme, to create cache, to change settings taxes, to create firewall or gained hacker, for the seer, etc etc etc. We start from the setting. Here you can choose the general setting, reading, writing, etc. Became from the general, where you can setting site title, tagged, email to recover password or other, the time zone etc etc. In writing you can choose default post category, default post format, default link category, how to receive email from your blog. In reading settings you can setting front page displays, the numbers of posts on home page, and on the feed. Now here you can see also other settings, but it's from my plugins. Normally you cannot see it. I explain all in the next lesson. In WordPress you can choose the permalink, or how to setting the URL of your post. This is my advice. But for this introduction lesson is the end. I wait you to introduce to the secret of WordPress the next week.